Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Here a tank circuit was given here. So this is a tank circuit. And asking that, how can you find the resonant frequency for this tank circuit? How can you find it? So first of all, we, are, uh, we need to understand what is the impedance of elements. That is, for resistor, the impedance is R only. For inductor, the impedance is S, L. For capacitor, the impedance is 1 by SC. So these are the standard formulas. Because frequency is depends upon the admittance. So first of all, we are going to find impedance for each branch. So don't use values, we will substitute the values finally. So at first we will take it is L and it is R and it is C. So for L, the impedance is SL. For R is R only and here 1 by SA. This is the impedance. According to the problem, we want resonant frequency. So whenever we want resonant frequency, we need overall admittance of the circuit. So if you know overall admittance of circuit, we can easily find the resonant frequency. So admittance is represented with Y and it is equal to inverse of impedance. The Z is overall impedance. So overall impedance inverse is is called as overall admittance of the circuit. Here we want overall admittance. So from that we can easily find resonant frequency. Now we are going to find overall impedance. So let's see here. So instead of finding overall impedance, we are going to use one different method. So here for finding overall admittance, whenever two branches having admittance in parallel, the sum of that impedance is equal to overall admittance. So let's consider for this branch, if the admittance is Y1, for this branch, if the admittance is Y2, these two branches are in parallel. So whenever admittance are in parallel, then overall admittance equal to sum of the admittances. So for that, we are going to find admittance of this branch. So for finding admittance of this branch, so first of all find impedance. So that is impedance of this branch z1 equal to sum of the impedances. Here, this impedance and this impedance are in series. So, impedance of inductor and impedance of resistor are in series. So, impedance of this branch is sum of these impedances. That is R plus. So, impedance of inductor is SL. So, we will substitute L values, C value, R value at last for easy calculation. Next, impedance of this branch that is Z2 that is 1 by SC. So, impedance of capacity is 1 by SE. C means here 1 microfarad, L means 40 millihenry and R is 50 ohms. We will substitute these values at last for each calculation. Now, this is Z1 and this is Z2. We want Y1, Y2. Y means we want overall admittance of the circuit. So, that is apply this formula. We will get admittance. Means admittance is inverse of impedance. So, from this Y1 equal to 1 by Z1 and Y2 equal to 1 by Z2. So this is Z1 and this is Z2. Now here I am going to directly find the overall admittance that is Yt equal to Y1 plus Y2. So Y1 is 1 by Z1 that is 1 by Z1 is this is that is R plus SL plus Y2. Y2 is 1 by Z2. Z2 is 1 by SC. So 1 by 1 by SC is what? SC. Now we can easily find our admittance of the circuit from this. So let's see here. So here S means G omega. It was in Laplace frequency domain. So S means G omega frequency domain. Substitute S value in this equation. We will get Yt equal to SC means j omega c plus 1 by r plus j omega l. Now here what can we do here? What to do here means? So in the denominator it is a complex number. So I want to convert this into this format that is complex number that is a plus i b form or a plus j b form. Okay, In this format I want. So here in the denominator it is r plus j omega l is there. So for this apply RF, relation factor. So then we can convert overall 
admittance in the pot of rare pot and mr pot so let's see here that is j omega c that's equal to 1 by is plus r plus j omega l into rf is r minus j omega l upon r minus j omega l so by multiplying with this we will get j omega c plus in numerator 1 into r minus j omega l that is r minus j omega l upon it is a plus b here a minus b form so a plus b into a minus b nothing but a square minus b square nothing but r square minus j omega l whole square so we know that from complex number j square nothing but minus 1 so it becomes j omega c plus r minus j omega l in numerator capacity is in numerator r square j square nothing but minus 1 so minus or minus becomes plus omega square l square now we can easily divide this into as complex number that is a plus j b form let's see here so in numerator here r minus j omega l is there only j here in numerator only there here it is a value here it is a value is there and here j is there so from this we will get a real part here we will get real part so this real part and this real part will be separated and this is the real part so let's see here so r by first term i am going to write this part means i am going to divide these two terms with numerator numerator is denominator that is r by denominator is r square minus um, sorry plus l square in numerator minus is there minus j omega l upon r square plus omega square l square plus this is also j omega c this is l and this is c so what did i mean here so here in the numerator uh, denominator it is a complex number there is a minus b form some value is there z so just i'm applying a by z minus ib by z so this method is applied here okay now we can easily separate this value as a plus b form so that is so this is real part that is r upon r square plus omega square l square and this is the main part j is common so plus j common omega c minus omega l upon r square plus omega square l square so this is real part and this is imaginary part of the overall admittance now here asking that how to find resonant frequency now we can easily find the resonant frequency so whenever resonant frequency is there then what at resonant frequency the imaginary part of admittance is equal to 0 so at resonant frequency imaginary part of admittance is equal to 0 that thing but this part will become zero so whenever there is a resonant frequency is there so at the time this part become to zero so this is a clue now we are going to use this clue as key for unlocking the resonant frequency value so that is omega c minus omega l upon r square plus omega square l square equal to zero so from this we can get resonant frequency that is omega now let's see here how to simplify this So let's consider resonant frequency is omega naught. So that's why it takes as it is a omega naught. So whenever omega naught is there, this value is equal to zero. So from this, so here it means r square plus omega naught l square. So it becomes omega naught c into r square minus omega naught square l square minus omega naught l upon r square. So this is plus. Plus omega naught square l square that's equal to zero. So bring this term on right hand side. It becomes omega naught c r square plus omega naught square l square equal to minus omega naught l. So minus or minus plus. So I convert this term to right hand side. That's why I got omega naught l. 
now we can get here so bring this term to right hand side we will get r square plus omega naught square l square keep this term as it is bring this term to right hand side here it is multiply it becomes divide that is omega naught l by omega naught c omega naught omega naught cancel it becomes r square plus omega naught square l square equal to l by c so bring this term on right hand side that is r square value so from this we we'll get omega naught square l square equal to l by c minus r square now bring this term also to right hand side it becomes omega naught square equal to l by c minus r square by l square it becomes l by c l square minus r square l square so one here one will cancel it becomes 1 by l c minus r square l square that is equal to omega naught square now we can easily find omega naught value from here now substitute l value r value c value in the equation we will get omega naught square now plus square root for that we will get omega naught value so let's see here now here i am going to write omega naught value by taking square root upon right hand side it becomes omega naught equal to square root of 1 by lc minus r by l whole square that's equal to root of 1 by l is 40 milli henry this 40 into 10 power minus 3 and c is 1 microfarad that is 1 into 10 power minus 6 so minus r by l r is 50 ohms 50 by l is 40 milli that is 10 power minus 3 whole square now by using calculator we will get this value is approximately 4.841 this is kilo radians per second 4.841 kilo and units are radians per second for angular frequency so this is the resonant frequency this is the required frequency for the given problem and this is the process of simplification and thanks for watching please subscribe like share thanks